So I tried to fire up this bike. It's been sitting up for a while and uh, it's only running on choke. So it will start, it'll run, um, but as soon as you let go of the choke, it, the bike just, just dies. There's no, you can throttle it a little bit, but once you sit down on the bike, it'll just, uh, it'll just die. Um, so it is getting fuel. Uh, it is getting a spark. So most likely what I'm guessing is that the pilot jet is clogged up. So I'm going to take the carb apart and just going to have a look at this pilot jet, make sure that that that, that is that is nice and um, nice and clean. So I'm going to take off the airbox. Now I'm going to have to disconnect everything. So um, the problem with these bikes is that there is no fuel knockoff and there is no knockoff for the two-stroke. So as soon as I, I pull this two-stroke, it'll start seeping out. So I'm going to have to put something in there. So let's do the two-stroke first. So I'll just put it, anything in there. This is a bore bit, but I just don't want two-stroke all over the floor. Okay. That's one thing, I'll take the fuel off. I just have a little cable ties on it because I didn't have any small. Now, a little bit of fuel will probably come out of the, the tube because I've been cranking it, so. I like, like that the carb is full of fuel as well, so don't forget that. Uh, the vacuum at the back here, there's a vacuum tube that pulls up the top. So that's that. Um, the accelerator cable. Or throttle cable. Okay, that pops out. So you don't get it all dirty because the other the other issue with these bikes is they don't actually have a, a fuel filter so if there's anything in your fuel tank it will clog it up so it'll just go straight in so maybe that's an idea of putting in a little fuel filter inline fuel filter okay that's the choke and i'll just loosen the jubilee and the whole carb should just pop out See, the beauty of these bikes is they're so quick to disassemble and reassemble. Okay, so that's rocket, and there it is. So that's the cab. Let's put it on the bench. Let's have a look at these jets. Okay, I have one odd bolt there, so just if you're wondering why that is it's just i lost one so i had to replace it with something and that's why it's an allen key it's actually a better job with the allen keys it's a little bit longer than the other ones now there's fuel in there as well so Open this up, the fuel will come out. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is just a shortcoming of the design. There is no fuel filter, and there's also no way of knocking off that two stroke, so it, it is seeping in so sometimes what happens is it's so heavy it keeps seeping in there and it keeps displacing the fuel so you actually end up with with the with two stroke inside there um or an excess of two stroke now in this case it won't be ah okay let me see if i can show you there's a lot of bits in there let me show you so it's definitely clogged up um now i am not sure if you can see the white bits in there inside there just 
on this side there you can see little particles float so they would definitely clog up the jet so let's have a look at the jet okay so because these carbs are so small um the actual jet is very the opening is very small so any amount of dirt will actually uh, will actually block these up um so here's your main jet and um, if you're wondering what i'm using it's the 75 here i have a 70 cc kit if you see the other videos i have a 70 cc kit on this bike so that's a 75 main jet um if you're wondering and this pilot jet is 60. Is it? yeah 60. i don't remember what it was but it was 60. so i'm just going to take them out um, and i'm going to blow uh, compressed air through them just to make sure that they are clean um, as you can see, I've started opening this one. Okay, so there's the first one. There's the main jet. Oh, when you're jetting these, I do have a video on it somewhere, but uh, when you're jetting these, it's actually just this bit, this top bit, so you can hold that with a spanner and open that up. But I'm interested in the whole bit. Like this. This little bad boy for the choke. This isn't an issue, but I'm just gonna blow it all out because there's there's stuff already in this um, carb. The last thing I want to do is put it all back together and some other bit blocks it up. That actually looks quite clogged now. Um, so I'll just put some air. I might as well, while I'm at this, I might as well take off the float. So this is just a pin that pops out. to it ah. okay just the pin pops out float will just pop up there you go that can also get clogged up in there so like i said if the bike is sitting for a long time and the two stroke is seeping in you could actually end up with a lot of two stroke in there and what happens is when you start cranking it and starts pulling it up, it actually clogs it with two stroke because there's so much of it. And um, you know there should be only a small amount in, in, in the fuel, not not this uh, not that not that large amount. So I'll just clear this out with some compressed air. Um, but there is definitely a lot of particles in there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna invest in some sort of um, an inline fuel filter for this for this bike. So um yeah look let me let me clean this out now i should probably say you you don't actually need a compressor there is another tool you can get which is something like this and you can just they're tiny little pokers and you can poke them through and that's just as good um see that nice and clear and there's two little holes either side Or you could just blow through it or you could use a foot pump depends how clogged it is obviously but um that's relatively good again it's nice and clean now go bigger we'll blow this through now if there's any bits particles inside A little choke. There he is. Oh, what I'll do is I'll shine some light through it as well, so I'll be able to see exactly if there's anything. Oh, this one is well clogged. Oh. That's much better. Yeah, I'll just get some light and I'll shine some light through them. Um, yeah, carb. Can see straight through that one. It's grass and everything on this.
in my case it could have been even two stroke a lot of two stroke because it's just the bike has been sitting there such a long time but all these little channels they have to be cleaned out and um, might let blow some air through I'll just wipe this clean and I'll just blow some air through it as well. Make sure there isn't any little bits sitting in there. Okay. So make sure it doesn't fire across the workshop. Um, okay, that's all I can do um, and I'll just assemble it now. Not much more you can do with this. And like I said, it's purely because these are so small. Um, they get clogged up so easily, and the fact that they don't have um, they don't have any filters for fuel. So there, oh. so you just hang this up. You see, you hang this up like so. It goes in here. It goes into that uh, copper first one there. This is a, a replica carb, it's a Chinese replica, it's not, it's not a genuine one. I've had no issues really with it for, for today. Um, okay, the main jet. Just screw them on by hand, don't go with a screwdriver straight away and don't over tighten these. Because you'll never get them off. Just once they start, a bit of resistance, that's good enough. Same with this. By hand first. That's it. That's bad boy. You have no choice but to do with the screwdriver. Make sure you don't tread it. Might as well get a new carp. That's it, just want to make sure there's nothing there, because there was previously. Okay. That's it, there is a little, uh, a little um, gasket there, so I'm not worried about leaking. these in a little bit and then I'll tighten them around again. Okay. Just tighten these. Again, don't over tighten these. Start getting a bit of resistance when you go a little bit further and don't go too far. So there's the resistance, and I'll just go a tiny bit more. That's it. You don't want to be buying a new carb because it's leaking. Okay, that's it. I'll just pop it back on the bike and see if she runs. <laughs> 